feels a lot more noty to me. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think what it is when we have the hairpins down, it kind of slows it down. Like, mm -hmm. it slows, yeah, I know. Okay. okay. It okay. relaxes a little. Okay. Every bar. Cool. Uh, what if we just do number one? Yeah, one is fine. Okay. The musicians that we um, arrange to collaborate with the Afiara, um, that is really a, an unparalleled experience. You'll have somebody playing a piano quintet, um, which is often um, an experience where you, you ask your friends, do you mind learning this part? You get a string quartet that is busy doing other stuff that throws it together, and it's not um, often a, a musically satisfying experience in the school setting. Whereas the Afiara come in, and they know this repertoire. This is what they do. This is what they live and they breathe. So when a pianist gets to join with them, you know, it's akin to taking a Ferrari out on the racetrack. Um, it, you don't worry about the car. You just get to focus on your skills. And, um, and the car, yeah, that's just fine. So, you know, that, that's sort of, um, when I think of the Afiara coming to the school, that the musicians that get to, uh, to work with them are, are getting to sit down with an incredibly fine-tuned, well-oiled machine that is you know, ready to go, and uh, and these young musicians can just focus on their own artistry. Uh, it's quite it's quite stunning. The other thing that I find um, uh, so touching about this young quartet is that um, they want to share. Their entire life is about sharing, uh, both the interaction within the group and what they do outside. So they're as excited to sit down in the lobby of the Royal Conservatory and play for young people as they're coming for their Saturday morning lessons as they are to play a formal evening concert. I don't think um, one or the other is more excited to them. The simple um, desire to connect with, um, with listeners is um, what drives this quartet. And when the young musicians at the Glen Gould School see that, um, it inspires them for what's possible. find that it's not quite in tune, try 10% less. 
Another residency in Alberta is also going to be twice a year. The University of Alberta, we kind of try to invade the campus and try to infuse it with our energy and with, um, with music. We go to Indiana and we're doing some teaching at BAM, um, and so that should be fun. And our goal is to have a more permanent residency somewhere. I really enjoy personally um, the private coachings. Chamber of reading. The chamber music readings. We have a career management class at this, at this school, and, and our teacher had them come in and talk about about uh, the business side of, of become, being a young up and coming quartet, um, and, and that was really really interesting, um, but also the reading sessions they did with us were, were, were really fun and you learn, you always learn a lot playing with, with great players and, and the technique workshops that they did I really enjoyed. You know when I was asked to um, become Associate Dean and Director of Chamber Music um, at the, uh, the Glen Gould School, one of the most interesting opportunities was the fact that there was no string quartet in residence here. There is no, there was no quartet program. And, um, and yet there were all these wonderful young players. So while they were getting phenomenal opportunities studying violin lessons and incredible coursework and studying the art of chamber music, they weren't actually hearing the great young string quartets of our time. So I uh, met with um, some of the stakeholders and worked closely with our dean, James and Agnesen, to create an opportunity to bring the Afiara Quartet to the Glen Gould School a couple times a year and they blow in with an unbelievable amount of energy, I'm sure as you've seen. And um, in a two or three day um, residency have an impact that is almost impossible to duplicate. Mm -hmm. 